Well, welcome back, guys, to part two of our Legacy of the Weird Boy Skirmish Battle against the Space Wolves. So if you haven't seen part one, you should definitely take a look. Um, it's very, very recent in our history. And in fact, um, I'm hoping to put a link down below so you guys can take a look at that. We're going to go ahead and turn it over to the Space Wolves. We've had quite a hell of a battle here, and I think... You're missing a lot if you don't take a look at the first part of this battle because a lot of things have occurred and we want to keep the action going. So we're going to go ahead and end the turn here, turn it over to the Space Wolves, and continue moving towards those points. Here we go, and oh my gosh, should have never gotten into close combat with Terminators. That's what happens. Uh, and they're actually panicked, but they're still fighting pretty effectively. It looks like the Dreadnought is actually making the right move here. He can't kill the Killican, but he's trying to damage our infantry as much as possible. And I think that's actually a really smart strategic idea by the AI. Um, basically, if they can wipe out our infantry and all we have left is the Killican, the whole goal of the skirmish battles is not necessarily to destroy your enemy's army, although that's one of them, but it's to take all or most of the victory points. So as you can see, these... Oh, man... These guys are, this assault squad is just slamming through us. Um, and look at that. We've even got a, no, oh my goodness, a bolter squad firing at us. And they're going to fire at our slug and ulp, so we need to close the gap very soon, get into close combat here. All right, guys, tremendous amount of enemy presence on this side. We're going to try to take out this dreadnought once and for all. Let's go. 80%. Critical hit, 43. It's still not enough to kill him, but it's a start. And I think we're going to try to finish him off with the Shooter Boy, or we could turn our attention to the enemy Sky Claws. And I think we need to do that because at least the damage potential is quite high. And we're flanking them. So I'm going to go for the Sky Claws. They're going to return fire, of course. We're doing our best, though, and more Shooter Boys here. We could set the reaction arc against the Sky Claws, but sadly, uh, they cannot fire. And they're not panicked, so I'm trying to figure out why they can't shoot. Uh, it's a little strange. Let's take our Slugger Nobs, and they're already in, pretty bad, in a pretty bad state. So actually, I think what I'll do is this. Move the War Biker back here. Try to fire at the Dreadnought from the back. Nice critical hit, and we destroyed him, guys. We also did a critical hit to the Grey Hunter Bolter Pack. I'm not sure if that's because the Dreadnought exploded, uh, but I'm just glad to see a dead Dreadnought. And, of course, now we've got some flanking shots at the enemy here. I think the Meltagun is much more dangerous, so we're going to fire at the Meltagun Pack. And as you can see, by firing at them, not only did we take out two of them, we also took out one of the Grey Hunter Bolter Pack members. So that is really good news. Um, it's definitely going to help us out. Is it going to win us the game? Uh, it's way too early to tell. Let's get up here. I was hoping we could fire at the Grey Hunter Bolters, but I think I'm just going to get up close and personal here. And I shouldn't have done this because now we're going to get chopped up by the Assault Squad. But we did get 50 HP, which is not bad. Come on. Yeah, and I think the Sky Claws are going to finish that unit off now. They're going to have to decide, though, whether to take out the Shooter Boys or that unit right there. And unfortunately, I don't think the Slug and Nobs have any sort of... They do have a Slug, actually. This is a big risk, but I'm going to take bring them over here just so they can keep firing at the Sky Claw. I want to see if we can kill one of them. And that one on the far left, he is definitely a target for a kill. One Slug hits him, he's down. All right, it's a critical hit. I mean, it's a start, but we could have done a lot better, of course. Now, this is a problem. The Mega Nobs are terrified, so we're going to have to retreat them um, until they regain their composure, because at this point, they're broken. They are a useless and spent combat force. So I'm going to fire at the Terminator here. The Wolfguard Terminator is still going strong, so I think it's time to move the good old Death Dread forward. And of course, this guy's going to go for some of their points. We'll go ahead and flame this guy up. We're not going to miss with a flamer. I doubt it anyway. Well, we just did. So apparently we can miss with a flamer. We'll try again, though. One HP. So I'm guessing that... 
either the trajectory of our shot or just the armor of the Terminators is actually too strong to break through, which is possible. Uh, I think I'll bring in the Death Copter. And let's see if we can get some shots on these Wolfguard Terminators. That's a miss. That's a hit. One down, one to go. Absolutely nice. We still have one Slugano, but we might as well attack with him. Even though he's unlikely to do any damage at all, um, we can at least try to scare the enemy. And there we go. Nice. In his death throes, the Slugadob actually managed to slice a Terminator in half. Uh, really nice. And we've also got the Mech Gun. So with the Mech Gun, I'm still unsure of what to do with it. I think I'll use it against the enemy Blood Claw Pack. But I could also get closer to the enemy, which I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to do at any other time. So let's get these Gretchen to push that gun forward and get a little bit closer here to the enemy units. We might still be able to fire. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and fire at the Blood Claw Pack. Power of Gravity, come on. Nice. Look at that, guys. One Blood Claw down. More to go, of course. Okay, that's it. We're going to turn it over to the Space Wolves. I also completely forgot about this Rhino Transport that's going to have to be a target in our future. Let's end the turn. Absolutely burning our boys up here. Good return, fired by the War Bikers. And yeah, we expected that. And now they're going to try to take on the Slugganobs. Oh, come on. Friendly fire. Come on. How could they not accidentally hit their own men there? Oh, man. They're getting really nice shots on us. And they just eviscerated the Shooter Boy squad. All right, guys. Back to us. First thing I'm going to do, of course, we've got the War Bikers. If they move in any direction, they're going to get hit pretty hard. Uh, but if we fire at the Grey Hunter Bolter Pack, I think we might get a nice kill here. So there we go. Look at that. One left. Just one. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn my attention to the Wolfguard Terminators. Once again, pretty good shots there. Uh, obviously, the most effective thing we could do is get this kill -a can forward and see if we can't go for just some good old-fashioned can claw attacks on these Terminators. I'm hoping it's going to do some major damage, but no! 165 damage against us! I didn't expect that at all, guys. Um, we're going to try to hit them again, but we're not doing hardly any damage against the Terminators here, and uh, they're actually doing a tremendous amount of damage to us. Really didn't expect that to occur at all. Alright, let's keep moving. I want to make sure to move in such a way that we're not going to take any reactionary fire. But we're also not going to be able to get any shots with this setup. I'm going to have to leave my guys the way they are. And the Meganobs, they're panicked. They could probably do some damage to the enemy, but it's going to be pretty risky. We're going to try anyway. Open fire on the Wolfguard Terminators. Come on, Meganobs. Nice shooting. One down. Get another one. Not quite effective on that last one. Um, we are going to bring the Met Gun forward, though. And, in fact, I'm not sure if the Def Copta can take a point. And it looks like he can. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and get behind this Terminator. And I think the Def Copta is going to go for all of the other enemy points here. We managed to kill another enemy unit. And we'll keep moving forward with the Def Dread as well. Uh, in fact, we might be able to bring the Def Dread in and just finish off this Terminator. Might not be such a bad idea. Let's flame him. Remember, close combat with the Terminator, we've just noticed, not the greatest idea. We did lower his um, morale pretty significantly. Clan Claw, come on. That's got to work. He's still alive, though. And these guys, the Shooter Boys, completely broken. We're going to have to wait a little while until they regain their composure. And, of course, we'll end our turn. But I must say, I think that Killican is just as dead as that Dreadnought. We'll have to see what happens, but... It's not a good omen. We'll end the turn here. Oh, there we go. More enemy units. Thankfully, they're in pretty bad shape. 
There we go. Reactionary fire by the war bikes. And they're going to go for our war bikes. My goodness. They're completely ignoring the Killican to kill our war bikes. And it was probably a good idea because those war bikes were doing a lot of damage to them. Man, they are, they are definitely going for blood. Oh my goodness. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is move this fellow out. I was hoping we can get a shot at the Rhino Transport, but that may not be, that may not be a possibility. So I'll at least set his reaction arc this way. Uh, this way the enemy will be forced to deal with him in one way or another. And we might as well fire with our Shooter Boys as well. Uh, and try to hit the Sky Claws in the back. There we go. I want to get a kill on one of these Sky Claws, boys. Oh, the return fire just destroyed us. I'm amazed that that orc is still willing to fight, though. And let's go ahead. Unfortunately, nope. We are totally panicked there with that unit. So this left side is pretty much a lost cause. Besides the Killican. Death Dread. There we go. Finally, one down. And we'll be moving this Death Dread closer to the enemies there on the left side. Of course, it's going to take a while to get there, but at least we're on the move. Same with the Mega Noobs. So hard not to say Mega Noobs um, instead of Mega Noobs. Move these guys out as well. And as you can see over here, there's been a lot of combat between both forces. Culminating in a pretty nasty battle. Huh... First, I'm going to take their spot, make them feel ashamed for losing it, and then we'll fire on these units that are not in the best position. Good shot with the flamer pack, on the flamer pack, I should say. And we just took out one of the Grey Hunter flamers. Awesome. At this point, we have to turn our attention to the rest of the enemy. But first, I want to see if we can throw some rocks downhill at the rest of these guys. Not bad. Critical hit. I'll take it. And we also did a little bit of damage here to the Blood Call pack that is totally broken. So they're not going to be able to attack. But look at this. The enemy still has a Wolf Priest. So they've got a lot of serious units still around. Uh, let's end the turn. Oh, I think he's about to destroy our poor dr Death Dread or Rocket Launcher Dread, I should say. Let's see, because we could actually get an excellent shot here. We are panicked, but I'm thinking through the side of the Rhino Transport with a rocket? Come on, we've got to be able to do some damage here. Maybe not, especially not if he misses every damn shot, which he just did. All right, well, this is not a time to complain. This is a time to continue the fight. So I'm going to move closer here. And we can actually fire on the Grey Hunter Bolter Pack. Critical hit. Beautiful. One of them down. Keep moving the big old Death Dread over there as well. And I think the Death Dread is almost entirely uh, a melee unit. He does have a Scorcher. So he's got a, fl uh, a Flamethrower basically. But I don't see him using that very often. Come on, Mecha Noobs. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. That's the good part. And let's keep moving forward with our Shooter Boys. I wish I had taken uh, one of the healer units, which is available uh, in Legacy of the Weird Boy. Uh, I think the guy's name is Teef? Rattletief? That's his name. So Rattletief can actually heal other units. But unfortunately, I did not take him, thinking that I could handle this all by myself. Clearly, that's not the case. Uh, let's end the turn. And look at this. They still have another Melta Gun squad over here. Uh, we do also have, though, our Mech Gun. And we could use it, considering this is all enemies. I'm going to throw it over here. All right. Not bad. Critical hit on the Terminators, but 
it did miss a bit and sort of fell back here. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn, guys. And they're going straight for our dread. No, come on. Oh, no, he's dead. He is totally dead. Yep. At least they spent all their shots trying to kill that unit, but he was our most powerful unit after all. All right, so these Terminators are already in a pretty bad spot. Oh, boy. So I'm going to use the Mecha Knobs to go ahead and fire at their flanks. One Terminator down. We should be able to get a second one. The unit is totally broken, guys. Another one down. Yes. Uh, let's bring in the Death Copter. And I'm mostly using this, this guy in almost a scout position. I want him to be able to see all these other units. Um, let's fire down at the Grey Hunter Bolter Pack. Miss. One more shot. There we go. I'm not even sure if the Death Dread can take on uh, this Rhino Transport by just beating him up. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. But we have to trust in the Death Dread. Put it that way. All right, let's go ahead and take our mech gun. And I'm actually going to aim at the Rhino Transport. I'm not sure how effective this thing is against um, an armored vehicle like this, but we're about to find out. Totally ineffective. 4 HP. <laughs> let's end our turn, my friends. Oh, no, another assault squad. And, of course, the plasma gun squad. All right, back to us. Now, I think that tree is probably going to protect them from any fire damage. We're going to try, though. Try to break through this damn tree. And if not... It really doesn't leave us many options. Um, let's see if we can get up here. We are going to get shot at either way. The Wolf Priest is going to shoot at us, but only one HP. So now I'm going to fire at the Melted Guns. We've got a very similar kind of gun here with our uh, Def Copta. Nice. Still didn't manage to kill him, but we're going to retreat. I'm going to just fire and retreat, fire and retreat, and just continue that, that sort of... Uh, style of play, I guess you could say. But I still want to get a shot on the on the Death Claw. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Maybe we can at least kill that Terminator and avenge our fallen brothers. There we go. And we'll assist our guy in taking out that, that bit of cover. Not much left, guys. And they're also very close to our Met Gun at this point. Uh, I think the best we can do... Try to destroy the Sky Claws. Nice! Critical hit! We did do a little damage to our own Death Dread and actually scared him a bit. But we just took out one Sky Claw, hopefully more to follow. Let's end the turn. Unfortunately, there is our chopper going down. The Sky Claws are going to retreat here. Okay. I think all we have left is the Death Dread. I think that's it. Uh, and he still has to go chase the enemy here. But let's focus on the enemy here. I think that's going to be our best, I, best chance for survival. Um, is to try and just win via points. No, we're not going to hit him. Too far away. And also he's got debris blocking his path. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try though.
Fire. One enemy down, but unfortunately, I don't think we have enough men to take that final victory point and get a victory. Just doesn't seem possible. We're so close, at least tying it up. But we're going to have to end the turn now, guys. And all we have left is our Meganopes and our Death Dread. These are the two units that made it till the end. If we look around the field, it's been an absolute bloodbath for both sides, really. Um, and a brutal, brutal fight. I think we fought pretty damn well. We could have done better. Feels so bad. Look at that Death Copter. He's down. And, of course, the Mech Biker. But they fought very hard. Let's end the turn here and see what happens. Oh, critical hit on the Death Dread. That could be a kill almost. And, of course, he took another point. It's going to be very hard now. I think the enemy wins. And it is a defeat, my friends. But we did try our best. I think we did a good job. Uh, we can hopefully do some more Sanctus Reach, um, especially with Legacy of the Weird Boy um, as a DLC for another battle. But as you can see, our scores were pretty even. I think we did all right. We can see the kills and eliminations here on each side. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Take care. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel and have an awesome day.